Good morning, friends of the internet. It's early. Well, it's early for me to be vlogging, I guess, is the real thing. So anyway, um, it's about 10 to 7, and I'm leaving here at 7 because I have to go bring my car into the dealership so they can figure out what the heck is wrong with it. So I gotta do that. But first, I have to unload my car. I have a few things in my car that I just don't really need it to be at the dealership, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna do that, and I'm also thinking that this is a good opportunity just to wash all of my reusable bags. I only have, well I think I only have, I think I only have Erin Condren bags, these ones. Um, I don't know, like these guys, like what? Um, these are, I don't know if this pattern is still on the Erin Condren website, but I'm pretty sure she still has some um, uh, bags still left. So anyway, the link is always below for Erin Condren. So anyway, and then I have my regular keys, but I wanna grab my like extra key for them to have because you know, whatever. okay. Here's my extra key. So I'm gonna give them that so the dealership can have, <clears throat> I'm sorry, the dealership can have this one. And then um, I'll keep my own keys because I have my house key and everything else on there too. So I don't know. I don't know how long it's gonna take. I have a feeling that they're not gonna get it done today. I don't know, I just got this, I got this Monday feeling and you know, I just got this Monday vibe feeling. So anyway, I'm gonna go unload my vehicle um, put my purse in there and then I'm gonna take Doyle out on like a little pee pee walk real quick and then um, I'm gonna get going. So um, I will see you guys in just a moment. Here are all the bags I need to wash that were in the car, so. And this is heavy, like this is actually quite heavy. So I'm gonna get these washed uh, up today and then finally have clean ass bags. So anyway, all right, I'm gonna go to the dealership. I'll see you guys later, bye. All right, I am back home after all of, you know, all the good things. Doyle gets a treat because we just went outside and he went potty. He did this little tinkle thing. So anyway, it is time for me to go upstairs with oh, my hefty bag. Whoops, I need my phone in case I get a phone call. And yeah, so, um, oh, here's the update on the car. So, dropped it off. They said they are scheduled to have it done today, so that's good. They're gonna do the airbag thing and like there was the recall on that, and then they're gonna figure out what's going on. So, the guy I talked to, here, we're gonna, whoop, that's gonna go down there. <laughs> the guy I talked to said, well, normally all of the lights that are on all come on at the same time. That's normal, which is kind of good. But anyway, he could not tell me how much it would be or anything like that just yet, so I'm just gonna have to wait. So they said they were either gonna call or text me. I told them they could do whatever they wanted. I didn't care. Um, so yeah, but that is the update for now, and I'm just going to sit here and work, and I have a whole bunch of emails in my inbox, which I normally don't have any emails in my inbox. So. Uh, it's clearly been a good morning, so yeah, okay. Oh, I even emailed myself because I needed to remind myself of something, so um, so yeah. But I am going to work for a little while and I will probably check in when things get more interesting, which will be after work plus. In the meantime, I can't see, um, that bag. I am going to uh, throw in the wash and um, get them washed and dried today. And then I'll show you all the bountiful goodness of all the Erin Condren reusable bags because there's a lot of them, guys. There is a lot. And it is just time to wash them all because COVID and I can. So, yeah. All right. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Bye. Got information for you guys. Regarding the car, it is an ignition coil failure so that means they have to do a repair what that does like the ignition coil does i don't know i was i was learning clearly because 
I don't do cars. Is that is the thing that like ignites your spark plugs. So um, there is apparently four ignition coils on my vehicle and coil number four is the one that was the problem. So that is being repaired as we speak and it's like 300 something dollars. So not horrible, not horrible. Um, don't mind my tongue. <laughs> it's blue right now because I separate my candy and I had some blue M&Ms earlier. So sorry if my tongue is like really distracting. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, so they're doing that. They uh, fixed the airbag, so that is done. And now I am just waiting for work to be over. So I'm in the middle of doing a project at the moment, but I wanted to check in and tell you guys what was going on. Oh yeah, so that's it. There's Doyle doing his Doyle dog thing. He's just been sitting there doing stuff. And I called Goodwill. I don't know if I said, did I say this? I don't know. I feel like, I don't know what I've said and what I haven't said. Like, I just I have no idea. I wanted to call Goodwill today to see if they were open. Like, they're open for, like, shopping, but I did not know if they were open for donations. So I called to confirm, yes, they are open for donations. They have some protocols. They didn't say what their protocols were. They just said they have new protocols for social distancing, which probably means just, like, stay in your car. You know what I mean? Because mine's, like, a drive-in one. Like, you go, like, underneath this, like, little garage and you drive in and there's like uh, somebody that will meet you in there and then they'll you know usually like you get out of the car and you pull the bags or boxes or items out they might be the ones doing that nowadays I don't know so anyways um yeah so I wanted to get a project done which I am planning on doing on Saturday so I have my planner set up over here and I am just kind of like jamming on my planner and trying to kind of plan out my weekend and how that's gonna look so i think on saturday i'm gonna gather up all my donations and i have kind of an idea where the majority of my donations are going to come from but um we shall see and then um on sunday i will drop off the donations because i think on sunday they're only open till like six i think which is fine it doesn't matter i'll just go drop them off but first I need to go pick up my car and that's gonna happen in just a moment for you guys but several hours for me so yay that's it I just want to give you guys an update before I forget what the problem was um so yeah that's it how exciting and beyond that everything is fine with my car so that's good of course they tried to sell me like a whole bunch of other crap but um, turns out I don't need it because when I was at a different Toyota dealership um, I already got that work done, so ha ha ha, joke's on you. <laughs> Actually, no. Previous Emily paid for that, so I guess the joke's on me. I don't know. Anyways, but um, yeah, but I'm gonna check in with you guys when things get more interesting. Bye! Okay, so I got my car back, and it's not flashing, but holy moly, it's hot in here. It's like 95 degrees outside, and my car has been ready for several hours, which means it's been outside baking for several hours, so... Let me show you. Hey look, there's no lights on anymore. Look at that. Oh, it's so fancy. Oh, but it says it's 8.13. It is not 8.13. Oh look, it says it's 97 degrees. I am a liar. Look at that, 97 degrees. Absolutely disgusting. Oh, I know a lot of you are gonna ask how much it was, so let me tell you. It was $316.41. So. Uh, like I said, they did my airbag, they fixed this problem, and they also did my wiper blades, and let's see if they work, because I had a whole conversation with the dude on the phone about this. Oh, look at that, yay. My driver's side wiper blade has had an issue of it like not adhering properly to the windshield. Um, so they're like, well, maybe new blades will do it. If not, we'll take a look at the actual like wiper blade and see. So anyway, it's fixed now. So yeah, so I, I paid for new wiper blades and um, I think they installed them for free, but there's no streaking, so yippee skippy. Okay, I'm gonna go home uh, and hopefully the car cools off at some point because it is 
roasty toasty in here. Yeah, that's it for the moment, but I'll see you guys when I get home, bye. Well, hey, I am back and yeah, I'm just back home. Um, been back here for quite a few hours now, had some dinner. I actually just made popcorn from my little air popper over there. Um, yeah, so that's about it. Uh, my dad just called and said, hey, I need to come over and look and see if I have this thing in your safe. I don't know, I don't understand why he keeps stuff here. I just don't get it. So I'm like, well, I guess you're coming over then. <laughs> so I don't, I don't know. I don't know what his deal is. It's like you have an entire dwelling to yourself that you can store stuff in. It's just like, I don't get it. I don't leave stuff around in other people's houses. But I'm just saying, just saying. So. He's coming over. Don't know if he's gonna find whatever he's looking for. We'll see, I don't know. That's the plan for the evening, so I don't know. What time is it, like seven, eight? Oh, it's quarter to eight. So um, as soon as he leaves, which hopefully will be soon, Doyle's like waiting, like, hmm, somebody coming over? Um, I am gonna go to bed, because I am tired, because I woke up at like, five in the morning which is weird because I used to wake up at like 4 30 every day but I've been going to bed later and later and waking up later and later so like it kind of evens out with the amount of sleep I've been getting um and like what my body is used to I'm just tired I'm just tired today and it's been really stinking hot today so um that also just makes me tired because you know hot weather just makes everyone tired, I feel like. <laughs> it's hot and sticky and gross, and you're just like, oh my gosh. Um, so yeah, but anyway, I'm gonna call it quits here. Thanks for watching the vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed. If anything exciting happens to my dad's here, I'll open the vlog back up, but probably not. He's probably gonna be looking for things, won't be able to find the things, and then ask me about the things, even though I don't have a clue what he has here. Um, so that's kind of like, a synopsis of what will happen in the very near future here but I'm gonna save you guys the trouble of actually like watching it and seeing it because no one needs to see that so anyway Doyle and I are gonna go and um, I will see you guys tomorrow for another vlog bye guys I go I go Right up the on snout. The fly. Right off the snout. Off the fly. He only plays when other people are here. Yeah, it's whatever. very Give him exercise. I know. He's I'm getting his old man exercise in. Oh goodness. Anyway. <laughs> oh, there he is. Never mind. I was gonna film Doyle being all sad. He's now recovered, I think. I don't know. So my dad was here and you saw him. He was sitting on one of these chairs. These are my dining chairs that are just lined up over here because I'm painting still. Anyway, <laughs> so <laughs> Doyle and his sad little tail, look at that. Oh. When he's sad, his tail goes down like that. But my dad left um, and my dad does not, well, he says he doesn't like dogs, but he was playing with Doyle as you saw in that previous clip for like a good 15 minutes. Um, he claims he's allergic. I say that with bunny ears. Um, anyways, so Doyle has been waiting, because my dad just left, um, waiting at the door like this for him. Like, where'd he go? And then as I started filming, I alerted the dog, and so he got up, because he was just like laying, staring at the front door, like, is he gonna come back? What's going on? He was really nice to me. Yeah, aww. Buddy, he isn't gonna come back today. Sorry, dude. Just staring at the door. Oh my gosh. Oh goodness. I'm filming Doyle in his sad moments. I know, bud. It's so sad. Yeah, and he says he doesn't even like you, but um Yeah, I don't know if that's true. But you know, he played with you for a really long time. Who knows? Maybe my dad's having the doggy sads too. Aww. <laughs> anyway, okay, I'm gonna close up the vlog here. Doyle says bye. You wanna say bye, buddy? Say bye, guys. 
Where's my grandpa? He's not here. <laughs> anyway, all right, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Well, folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you can feel cool. <laughs> Give it to